First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Pray without ceasing. Call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakahakarash. Double honors and salutations to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us the truth that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and to the one third men, women, and children of Israel, <clears throat> and to the Israelite foreigners who has the appearance of the heathens, but their lineage, their seed lines, goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shalom, this is the brother Habashai Ibadia, Jim at Chicago. And um, I may title this video Satan's Blitz. All right, Satan's Blitz. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's a well the word the term blitz is a football term. Alright. Pretty much you have eleven men on the field on each side, offense and uh defense, which is twenty-two men on the field. But what it what happens is you send uh an overload of men on the line of scrimmage, alright, to do this what you see here, sack the quarterback. Alright? So you pretty much sending everybody, man. Hey, and sometime in your life, it feels like a hey, Satan is putting an all-out blitz on you, man. And, and blitzes are kind of hard to come out of if you know if you understand football or whatever, right? Try to make it as simple as you can if you can understand it. But anyhow, um, you could come out of those blitzes. Sometimes you can see the blitz if you're on offense, right? And what you do is you call an audible. An audible is. Hey, we was getting ready to do this play, but we gonna change it to this play because we see they coming with the blitz, all right? And you can uh, have a chance at beating the blitz. Sometimes you can't, all right? And it's all about preparation, right? So what I mean by that is this blitz, this uh, Satan's blitz, he coming at all angles, right? But we know that, hey, Yahweh Yahweh Shaz is the father of all spirits. And the Lord will allow Satan to do these blitz on you. To either purge you, all right, build your faith, you know, getting you ready. Sometimes, hey, the Lord will just uh, 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 let Satan hit blitzes on you just because hey, just you wicked, all right? Hey, remember, we all deserve death, right? So, so hey, the Satan, hey, scripture says Satan comes in the season. But what I want to focus on in this uh, video is how to, you know, uh, pretty much elude the blitz. All right, hey, and that's all up to the the the, the, the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, because sometimes when you feel like it's too much, you, what you got to do, you got to ask brothers to uh, pray for you. All right, there are certain uh, tools like the scripture says, our weapons are not carnal, man. You can't fight Shatan with carnal weapons, man. This is a spiritual fight that we're in. All right, we got to fight the good fight. Right? And how do we do that? Through praying. That's why I read that. You know, first Thessalonians five and then even verse sixteen. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Pray means uh we're begging the Lord. Alright? Repenting. Asking the Lord to forgive us of all our sins, man. Alright, even in past lives. Right? But hey, every now and then the, the, the Lord will let Satan have a blitz on you. And sometimes it's small. You have a bad day where it's like, yo, everybody is just being a damn demon, man. What's and then you were oh, this Satan. Okay, okay. You know what? Let me calm down. Hey, sometimes hey, you gotta play harps. They got apps on the phone, or you can go on YouTube and just play. They'll play harps for eleven hours. Some uh, some uh, 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 what you call it? Classical music. All right, to to bring a certain energy about around you. Burn some sage, man, or Palo Santo sticks, man. All right. Once again, you know, ask brothers to anoint you. All right. Uh, with the, the, the uh, anointing prayer in uh, number six. All right. And also the ultimate uh, uh, weapon is fast, which is uh, 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 <clears throat> put afflicting your soul, man. Because you come into like the angel state when you fast. You know, you read. You want to, uh, uh, you know, do videos, be around brothers or what have you. All right. You're feeding yourself so that the Lord could, you know, stop your affliction. Right. Um, and the Lord ain't going to give you more than you can't handle anyway. Right. Hey, sometimes, hey, like you say, the the the, the fast and the, uh, the, the slack here, 
during the blitz, hey, sometimes you just got to take the sack. And that's right here what you see. This is a quarterback sack. Hey, this from Wilbur Marshall back in the day on the 85 Bears, man. That championship team with that ultimate defense. That's all they did, man. Knock motherfuckers out, right? And this is how Satan be coming, man. So sometimes, hey, you got to throw the ball out of bounds. Hey, to start over a whole nother set of downs or what have you, man. Sometimes you got to take that 10-yard sack. All right, get up, you know, a hey, brush yourself off. Hey, a righteous man falls seven times. All right, sometimes you're going to throw that interception to avoid the, the, the blitz. You got to forget about that interception and go back out as if you never threw that interception, man. You know, so it's so like you for the uh, rant, but you know, like I, you know, um, and I mean, it ain't a rant, but just want to get a clear idea of how Satan works, man. So let's grab real quick here. Uh, Second Corinthians uh, 13 and five. It reads, examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own self. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shahamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. And the point in this I wanted to grab was examine yourself. Sometimes the Lord is letting them blitz come on you because it's something you ain't doing right. You know, ask the Lord fast, Lord, what am I doing wrong? You know, so that you can you can catch it, man. All right, and, and every time them sight them 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 blitz they get harder and harder. All right, remember Satan is a uh, uh, is cunning, man. All right, and, and who does the bidding of Satan? Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. But guess what? You have two-thirds of our people. All right, according to Zechariah thirteen and eight, they 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 help they help this devil, man. All right, and it, it's mainly you niggas, man. Pretty much anybody that ain't in this truth, man. Okay, because the Lord is only dealing with the elect. Matthew twenty-four and thirty-one. All right, so you know. You have to examine yourself, look in the mirror, and be honest with yourself. Hey, where am I going off at where I can uh, fix things, man? Right? Let's grab real quick the book of uh, Judges. Because, hey, fasting, that's our heritage. Now, you have some people, you got heathens that fast. Hey, and they'll tell you, you see a lot of accounts where they say they feel better. All right? They feel more clear. All right? Hey, if the Lord is doing that for heathens... Uh, and, and they not even Israel How much more you as an Israelite man Let's grab Judges 20 and 26 It reads Then all the children of Israel And all the people went up And came unto the house of Yahweh And wept and sat there Before the, uh, the Lord Yahweh And fasted That day eve until evening And Offered burnt offerings And peace offerings before the Lord, Yahweh. Okay, it says, and the children of Israel inquired of the Lord Yahweh for the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh was there in those days. All right, so this is a natural thing for us to be um, uh, always crying out to the Lord. Our ancestors did that, man. All right, afflicted they, they their souls, man. That's how the, you know the Lord and the angels know. Like, oh, he big serious, right? This is Joel 2 and 10. The earth shall sh shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. This is the uh, day of the Lord, right? This is when the nukes coming, right? The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord... It's like it. Where am I? Yeah. Yeah, it's like it. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army... For his camp is very great, for he is strong to execute his word. For the day of the Lord Yahweh is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Therefore, also now, see there, saith the Lord Yahweh, turn ye even to me with all your heart, with and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. All right, so now before that great day of the Lord, man, we ought to do that for what? So that we can receive salvation and, and escape the wrath of the Lord. You do that now. Not Hey, you doing it fasting and, and weeping and crying while the missiles uh, come. Well, you know, hey, you may not be part of the elect. But hey, remember the Lord did say, I have to take that back. So like you, there's something that we're going to be uh, scarcely saved. All right. So, hey, you may see 
and hear the, the sirens go, you like, oh, Lord, man, the Lord ain't got me. And all of a sudden, in the twinkle of an eye, the Lord got you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, some think they're going to be doing that, hey, and they're going to be missile food, man. All right? But the main part I wanted to draw out was the fasting, man. All right? Letting you know how important that fasting is, man. Let's, and also, this is why we learned the Hebrew. That's another weapon, man. All right? Against the... Uh, 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 the, the, the blitz of Satan, man. Right? And like I say, ultimately, at the end of the day, the Lord is doing it because what? Satan, uh, uh, he's in order, man. Just like with Job. He does what the Lord tell him to do, man. All right? He can't go no more than what the Lord tells him. Right? Let's grab real quick here in the uh, prologue of Sirach, which is Ecclesiasticus. Right? It says here... Um, Uh, what I want to grab. I'll start right here. It says, where it says, wherefore. It says, wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us wherein we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret. Here's my point. For the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. All right. And and not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books. All right. And that's it. That's it on that. But my point I wanted to get was the same things other in Hebrew, man, uh, have not the same force. This is why we learn the Hebrew prayers, man. All right. Hey, Satan running up on you, man, from every direction. Hey, you, you, uh, what's, uh, I may have them out of order, but it's, uh, Nadat Manyanyan. Shatan, Satan, uh, flee from me, okay? I got Ayrka, Shatan, uh, get behind me, D Satan, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, 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 Arashayaka, Shatan, is uh, flee from me, Satan. I'm not sure with the order, but I know all three of those, Amy, you, you pray that in uh, Bahasham Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, hey, amen, you'll be surprised, okay? It may not stop immediately, sometime it will. But the Lord will give you, uh, let that uh, a pressure off of you, man. Give you some breathing room, man. Because you pray in the uh, the Lashawan Kodash, man, which is the holy tongue. That's the language of the heavens. You 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 fasting and 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 you know you you going through a hard time. You know Satan just all over you. Hey, you you run into the uh, Lord, and the angel is going to pierce the clouds with those prayers, man, and get you up, up out of whatever jam or, or, or Satan will leave you for a season, man. Okay. Um, let's grab real quick. Isaac, it's like your Isaiah uh, 58. And these are just, you know, spiritual tools that we use. You got a person being a demon around you. Hey, man, you can just hey, flee from me, Satan, you know, in the Hebrew prayer. All right. Uh, this is Isaiah 58 and 3. It says, Wherefore. We have fasted, say they, and they, and thou seest not. Wherefore we have afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge. Behold, in the day of your fast ye find pleasure, and exact all your labors. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye to uh, as ye do this day, to make your voice to uh, be heard on high. Is it such a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul? That's the point, afflicting your soul, right? Is it to bow down his head as a bull rush? All right, like how a, a, a bull bows his head before he about to rush you. Yeah, man, you you face the east. All right, you learn some Hebrew prayers. Put your face to the earth, man. Hey, and cry to the Lord, man, while you fasting and all that, man. Hey, the Lord is definitely gonna hear you, man. That is one of the ways how to uh, uh, escape that spirit that 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 blitz from Satan, man. All right, and the Lord has happened for me, man, a bunch of times. <clears throat> and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him. Would thou call this a fast and an acceptable day 
to the Lord. All right. So, uh, it, what it says here, get that too. It says, right. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke, man. All right. So, man, it is, it, it's, it's, it's hard, man. But, hey, the Lord gave us all the tools that we need to get through Babylon, man. All right. Let's grab real quick the book of uh, Judith. Like I say, man, this is our heritage, man. We ought to use these tools, man. It says uh, this is when the Assyrians, uh, the king of Assyria, was coming uh, down on Jake, man. This is uh, Judith 4 and 13. So Yahweh heard their prayers and looked upon their afflictions. For the people fasted many days in all Judea and Jerusalem before the sanctuary of the Lord Yahweh. Alashadia, man. That means almighty, man. Like demon like powers, all right? So that's what we got to do, man. This is a spiritual war that we're in, all right? You can't just go and, like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and grab a bottle. Now, is there anything wrong with that? But no, nah, but you know, you do it in moderation. Sometimes you're like, yo, you got to take the, the pressure off a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, you don't go get slapped out your damn mind and, 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 and you know, just all uh, uh, out of your mind. Ephesians 6 and 9. Um, I start at 10. It says, finally, my brethren. I'm going to end with this too. Be strong in the Lord, Yahweh, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Told you he's cunning. And, and living here in Babylon the Great. Okay, a.k.a. America. We know that the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, right? And we know that uh, these little nigglets, all right, they're Israelites too, but they they, they, won't re they don't want to repent and, and, and be converted. Hey, there are enemies too, man, along with the other nations. Hey, they, they have many schemes against us, man. So this is how we stay spiritual and we can see the, the wiles of Satan, man, of Slaki, of the devil. Which they do the bidding of Satan. Devil means deceiver. Okay? Very cunning. And our people act just like their oppressor. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right? Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and have and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. All right. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh, praying always with pr all prayer and supplication and in, in the spirit and watching there unto with all perverse of uh, perseverance and supplication for all saints. All right. And the saints are Israelites. Uh, Psalms 148 and 14. So with that. Lord willing, uh, you will edify and you got uh, a nice piece of spiritual weaponry to fight against Satan's blitz. Shalom.